Hello everyone, here's a nice little rock band project for you, making block instruments. Starting point is an analog voltmeter that you can pick up for about £6 from Amazon. So, first thing is to take out the packaging, check you've got the um, probes and the, and the leads as well, set it to the 10 volt setting or 12 volt depending on what mate you've got and just check first of all that it works there you are so that works uh, and we we're good to go with the project. So take the leads out, don't need them anymore. So the next job then is to take a hacksaw and remove the um, wide knob on the front. In the greatest blue piece of tradition, here's one that I've already done that too. Next job is to remove the glass cover, or the plastic cover, which of course in also great live repeater tradition has stuck. There we go. Now well, here's a, a pre-printed um, Label, all you need to do is just glue that and slip it in the back of the uh, meter behind the needle. So take it out. Good drops of glue on it. Like so, and in we go. And that has just been printed off from a, a picture of a block instrument that I found on the internet. It's not really the right pattern for a Great Western block instrument, but it's the it's the best suited for this type of meter. Put the glass lid on again, the perspex lid. It literally just pops out with a screwdriver next job is to take the back take the back off using the screw on the back there we go hmm. that one's a bit more interesting actually We need a little bit more work on it than I thought because they're all slightly different these. But anyhow, one job we, we need to do on the back is to drill a couple of holes as we're mounting new wires in it. So we on the on the back of the case we've got the round feet. Best thing to do is just drill a hole in each uh, each of those round feet, and that way the, the rings will stop the plastic from splitting. That's one. That's two. There you go. Two nice round holes. Screw in there so I don't lose it. And take the battery out of the meter, we don't need that again. Um, but the issue is how do we solder on 
to these pickups. I think we have to. I don't really like doing this because there's one other meter I've had to take apart this far and it didn't work when I put it back together again. But we'll, we'll try and see what happens. In fact, if we just go up that far, that should give us enough length there to be able to solder a wire onto each of those pins. Again, I'll keep the screws in the pot. One white end, two bass tinned, and then what I'm going to do on this one, so some of them have little tabs, in fact, no it doesn't, so some of these have little tabs that actually come right through and onto the other side. This one doesn't, so I'm going to have to instead solder onto these little tabs up here and get them as close to the circuit board as I can so it'll fold back straight in. Go back straight into its housing again afterwards. I think that's got something on them. That's not really taken there. Still not really taken, let's get a bit more. Solder on it. That's better. There you are, those two wires are now soldered on to the probes. Just push that back down again. those two screws back up. Now we need to run the two wires through the holes in the outer casing.
screw the casing back on and then we just need to hide the area around the rotary switch with a few scraps of card One strip down each side. Second strip down each side. Another square of card. across the top like so and then all it needs is painting and you have a voltmeter that's been turned into a block instrument I'll post up the circuit for wiring it up in a moment but it's just a Usually a fairly simple project that can be done in, in a few minutes. So there we are then, two finished block instruments mounted with a lever frame. One on the left to be switched by the use of this box. One on the right is a, a mirror of the one in the other signal box. So, currently showing train online. Switch it to line closed. That's not central, so we just calibrate it with the uh, variable resistor. Line clear. So, yes. So, no, normal sequence then. Line closed, uh, other signal box rings call attention is line clear, signal agrees, S other signal box rings train entry section, so we switch to train online, and then when the train's out of the section, signal one here rings train out of section and switches it back to line closed. <laughs> 